at the Heart of Art Institute. We continue in our desires to help humanity with removing some of the items in the piles less traveled. We've talked about in previous videos, garage sales, flea markets being an exceptionally good way to reduce those piles. We're in a good time right now. However, statistics show that baby boomers are getting older. As we get older, our arthritis increases and we have more difficulty maneuvering through those piles less traveled. Thus, we're downsizing. More of us are selling off our items and we are utilizing garage sale formats to do that. So, as time goes by, it's going to be supply and demand. There's going to be more and more of us supplying and less demanding. So we have to be very progressive and very creative in the way we sell our items futuristically. And we think now may be a very, very good time to look at some of these. Some of the ways that you may want to try in the progressive sense is at your next garage sale offer a layaway plan. 5% more your customer if they don't have the total of $3.75 may place those wonderful selections on layaway. This gives you 5% more it decreases the pressure on your customer who in this economy may be a bit financially strapped. So yes, please consider layaway at your next garage sale or flea market. In addition, it is also important to be creative in the modes of selling. What about rent to buy? Yes, at your next garage sale or flea market, while you are putting out sale signs and tags, put around some flyers offering rent to buy. Your customers can rent one item, two items. Yep, they're going to run out. They're going to put it on eBay, Etsy, Bonanza. But the odds really are in favor they're going to return that item after the first month's rent. You may be able to rent the same item five to six times before making the final sale. In addition to that, we are going into a period where garage sales flea markets are very trendy. We have talked about that. More and more people are wanting to get into those with us. Sadly, in our communities, we have our brothers and sisters who went through life with those obsessive, compulsive, neat, freak habits and now find them with no inventory. We must give them the opportunity to have the available resources to join in the socialization, the entertainment, the promotional means of garage sales and flea markets. So rent to own means also that you can rent items in bulk. Give them a large selection of items so that they too can have their own garage sale. This helps our brothers and sisters in humanity. Another thing that we've talked about in previous videos is advertising. It is very important that exposure to your garage sale occurs in your community. A means to do that that is relatively inexpensive is get you two to three people. Make you some rather large signs and have them pick at your garage sale. Have on these signs. Garage sales are a threat to our garbage men. Our garage sales are shutting down our dumps. These picketers may well get the media involved may well get the labor unions involved. The more people, the more attention, the more consumers you will have arriving at your garage sale. Picketing, cheap and expensive. Another concept that we have utilized in our society for a long time is sex appeal. It is important that you advertise appropriately if you use sex appeal. 
please do not do as those six elderly women did lying out in front of their retirement home. It was asked, what are they doing lying nude out front? The response was, they all were prostitutes earlier in life and now they're having a garage sale. Please, community standards, morality, and advertising, but do appropriately use sex appeal. We hope that these few pointers will help you in your progressive thinking of future sales. At the Heart of Mart Institute, we encourage you not to be the weakest link in the commercialization of our hoarding and the piles less traveled. Should you have other suggestions, ideas, please share them with us as we continue our research.